Champions Cup quarterfinal uh, between Leinster and Ulster. It was an all-Irish affair. Very close game. Only one kick the difference in this game. Leinster getting the job done. 21 points to 18. Uh, very much a kind of traditional ding-dong battle. Back and forward. The lead changed at least kind of three times in this one. It could have gone... Could have gone either way, but uh, Leinster managed to get it done. And uh, at home, they were expected to get it done, but uh, Ulster certainly pushed them right until the 80th minute. Um, it started with uh, Treadwell opening the scoring from a charge down. It was Best that made the charge down. So Ulster off to a flyer kind of within the first five, six minutes. It made it 7 0. Uh, then Leinster went 25 phases. And managed to score through, uh, it was uh, Ross Byrne who got the first one. They missed the conversion. It was five points to seven. Byrne missed another penalty. So his kicking boots weren't on initially. Um, Cooney's were. So they kicked the penalty for, for Ulster. Made it ten points to five. Uh, Leinster hit back. Eight points to ten. So this is what I mean by ding dong. It was kind of back and forth, back and forth. Uh, neither side really able to get too far ahead of the other. Uh, Leinster kicked a penalty on, I think it was about 34 minutes to actually take the lead for the first time. Uh, 11 points to 10. Ulster hit back with one of their own, 13-11. That was how it finished at half time. So only two points in it, uh, not much separating the two sides. Uh, 44 minutes is very much a moment that the Ulster fans and one particular player will want to forget because Jacob Stockdale, who otherwise had a pretty darn good game, uh, did all the hard work for setting up a try, he managed to beat a few defenders, he made Lama look pretty ordinary on defence, and then under a bit of pressure as he was going to put the ball down, he just dropped it. And when you look at that scoreline, five points would have come in very, very handy indeed, so uncharacteristic error from him. All he had to do was really drop down and uh, he would have had five points because he was over the whitewash. But as he went out to kind of place it one-handed, it just slipped from his fingers. So um, Brian O'Driscoll was on the commentary for my feed and he was giving him a lot of grief just to say it's kind of inexcusable. All you need to do is flop down on it. If the, if the ball ends up kind of pushing into your chest and wins you for a bit, it's worth it to secure those five points. Yeah, very much uh, an unfortunate one for him. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Adam Byrne got one for, for Leinster after Conan made a break. And it was a hilarious break because somebody laid a hand on him, which kind of half pulled down his shorts. So he was... And I've seen bare backside before. This wasn't a bare backside one, so at least he kind of concealed his shame a wee bit. He... Uh, he had his shorts half falling down, his underwear was exposed, or whatever the hell that was, and um, yeah, he still had the, the, the thought, as he was making a line break, trying to beat defenders to also pull up his shorts, and managed to get the pass away. So, um, yeah, that was um, quite, quite the play. Uh, that made it 18-13, but uh, Marshall got a try, kind of... 64, yeah, 64 minutes, and uh, they missed an easiest conversion, easy-ish conversion for that one. Had it all tied up, 18 apiece, but then uh, Byrne, despite the cramp, that's Ross, uh, managed to kick a reasonable, uh, dif reasonably difficult penalty on about 71 minutes, and his leg was definitely bothering him, so he did a very good job to kick that, and he didn't kick a straighter kick all night, despite kind of being on one leg, so... That was enough to get it done. 21 points to 18. It was a 40 phase finish uh, to get things done. But um, yeah, Ulster just fell short in what was a very close, entertaining game. Um, there were, like, I mean, Levy, I don't know, they said his injury was horrific. I kind of missed it in the first viewing and they didn't replay it because apparently it was pretty bad. He had to go off on a stretch of the game, stopped for quite a period. Uh, like I said, Ross Byrne and a number of other guys had cramps, so it kind of speaks to the intensity of this one. Uh, Cronin continues his ability to just make crazy runs, but then the line-out sometimes lets him down. There was one where it was literally he made a run, and then uh, from the following line-out, uh, it didn't go their way. But I think they were still up in the 80% in terms of their line-out stats for this one, Leinster. So, 
yeah, a lot of you guys actually said in the comments that this one was going to be close. So a lot of you called it. Uh, Leinster getting it done. 21 points to 18. Very good game. It was the second one I watched. It was on at a reasonable time over here, so I was pretty thankful for that. Uh, I still haven't seen the Munster game in full yet. I need to go back and watch that. But before I forget about this one, uh, in terms of the overall stats, everything speaks to being very close. The run meters were pretty much the same. 383 to Leinster, 369 to Ulster, so almost the same. Uh, position and territory Leinster is slightly edged at 55-45. Uh, tackling... Also had to make more tackles, having less ball, but they were attacking at 90%, Lens still 89, so not much between them again. Um, yeah, so I mean, it was basically two tries apiece, two conversions apiece, just that one penalty goal being the difference. Really, really close. Uh, Ring Rose had seven defenders beaten, Stockdale had five, so both good efforts. Uh, Stockdale was actually the number one meter gainer for the overall game, that's what I mean about him. I think he was okay under the high ball too was generally pretty good, it's just that one shocker that will haunt him. Um, Conan had uh, 63, largely in that pant pulling up moment, I suppose, uh, for Leinster. Hearing uh, from the bench had 25 tackles for Ulster. I mean, he came on pretty early because Best went off after about 15 minutes, which was pretty unfortunate for Ulster's chances as well. But still, 25 tackles, good effort from him. James Ryan, no surprise, he is Leinster's number one tackler. Uh, with a few fewer than uh, Hearing, he had 21 but uh, very much a good effort. So yeah, um, very good game. The crowd were well into it. Uh, I do love the way that that stadium falls perhaps more silent than any other stadium when people are kicking. All the Irish stadiums seem to do that. But um, yeah, very, very cool game. Um, now that will mean Leinster play uh, the winner of tomorrow's game, which is between uh, Racing and Toulouse. So We'll kind of watch that one with a bit of uh, intent. It could be a rematch between um, Leinster and Toulouse, who played in pool play. They went one apiece uh, in that one. So it will be interesting. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on the game. What did you think of it? Um, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.